Hi, I'm Becky Daniels. Welcome to the Nasher Sculpture Center in, in Dallas. This is bizarre. I'm so sorry. We seem to be having problems with flies in the museum. So today, we're going to, what's with the mustache? What's going on here? We're going to be talking about our current exhibition, The Nature of Art. A mandolin? What is going on here? Art. What's going on here? The only answer to that question is Arp, Jean Hans Arp. And in order to understand a bit of the absurdity of Arp, it helps to understand where he was from. Arp was raised in Strasbourg on the border between France and Germany, two of the most civilized nations that tended to go to war with each other and brutally contest the border of France and Germany which put Strasbourg in a difficult position. As a result, Arp grew up without a strong national identity. When World War I began, these two incredibly civilized nations of Germany and France went to war against each other, sending young men in the prime of their lives into the trenches to fight each other with mustard gas and machine guns. Arp decided he wanted nothing to do with this kind of civilization, so he moved to neutral Switzerland. When he was in Switzerland, he met many other artists that felt the same as he did, and they broke the traditional rules of art schools and developed their own style of art. Arp, along with his wife Sophie, understood the surreal strangeness of life as it existed at that time. Um, Arp also created this sculpture here in 1930. It's called three disagreeable objects on a face. Arp's signature biomorphic forms are fantastically weird. The absurdity of disagreeable emerged ostensibly from a dream. And Arp wrote, I awoke from a deep and dreamless sleep with disagreeable objects on my face. Sophie said they were a big fly, a mustache, and a little mandolin. I had no intention whatsoever of removing them. Quite the opposite, I remained motionless so that they would not fall from my face. So, here we are in the Nasher with a fly, a mustache, and a mandolin. Arp continued to break tradition by allowing visitors that came into the museum to move the pieces around and create their own relationships with them. Arp's work bridges the gap between representational art and abstract art. His sculptures invite you, the viewer, to come into the museum and even though you can't touch the art, create your own interpretations of his work. So hurry and come see our exhibition, The Nature of Art, before it closes on January 6th. Thank you.